You might want to watch this next story closely because it has a now you see it, now you don't quality. Patrick Murphy profiles a guy whose job it is to fool us over and over again. Magic is a popular theme in movies nowadays. But as impressive as computer-generated special effects can be, many of us still enjoy our tricks live, up close, and personal. Nobody knows who performed the first magic trick. But even today, in our age of technological wonders, most of us are still amazed by the power of a magic wand, an abracadabra, and something a little out of the ordinary. For more than 25 years, Terry Richeson has been creating illusions that leave audiences wondering, how did he do that? But don't ask him to reveal any of his secrets. If I told you how everything was done, then it wouldn't be fun for you anymore. I think maybe I really don't want to know. Most people don't. They love to be fooled. And if they're fooled, that's when they're entertained. I have 11 people in my show right now. And a lot of the assistants don't even know how the magic's done, except for what they are involved with. And they don't want to know, because it'll ruin it for them. I have one assistant that watches every show the same trick over and over, and she never has been involved with it and doesn't know how it works and doesn't want to know. Anybody can do a trick, but not everybody can do magic, because magic is that trick with that good presentation to make it look mystical, to make it sound interesting. And so the performance is probably at least 50% of the, of the job of doing a good magic show. There's not a lot of new magic. Magic is like jokes. There are no new jokes. They're just old and retold with a different window dressing. By suspending our disbelief, we get to be a part of the magic and visit a place that's more exciting than our normal lives, a world of unlimited possibilities. Steve Bender designs, builds, and sells magical props, gadgets, machines, and tricks. His company, Ickle Pickle Magic, supplies the magically inclined from coast to coast. Sometimes you just get an idea, you're, you're laying in bed and you say, you know what, it would really be neat if. And luckily I have 12 different people that work for me. So I've got a person that silk screens, I've got two people that do woodwork, I've got a guy that cuts plexiglass for me, I've got a seamstress. So any idea I get, we can come up with or we can make whatever my idea is. This is a mirror box. Even though it appears that you're looking into a complete box, you are not seeing the complete box. The illusion makes it seem like you're seeing the complete box. But this is a flip over box. Unfortunately, this is a flip over box that we better put. We'll put a flying chicken into the flip over box. Okay, the flying chicken goes into the flip over box and then it flips over. So for all intents and purposes, the chicken has vanished. You close up the box, you reopen it, and the chicken reemerges. Pick a card, any card, and wait for the magic to happen. You see it, but you can't quite believe it. <laughs> That's it. Your card, right? There. That is it. Terry Richardson's ultimate trick would be to make the Gateway Arch disappear. He's ready, but the federal government is not thrilled by the prospect. Every time we get close to doing it, something happens with the terror level of the United States, and because that's a national monument, we have to get approval from the uh, federal park rangers. And when the terror level goes up, wipes everything out, and we have to start from the beginning again. You could make the arch disappear during the daytime to people on, on both sides of the river. Day or night, it doesn't matter. We, we've got it worked out. We've got uh, all, the, all the ideas and, and, and most of the props already built. 
could you bring it back or would you, would you well you know it? funny enough funny enough uh, they in in the in the paperwork we had to actually sign that yes we would bring it back it's magic defying the laws of nature and satisfying that basic human need for a little razzle dazzle and our never ending desire to be amazed I hope you've enjoyed the show. If you did, my name is Terry Richardson. You guys have a great evening, everybody. Thanks and good night.